Lieutenant Mitch Ryder? Uh, yes. Welcome back. Thanks, uh, do I know you? I'm Monet Burwell. I'm an attorney from the firm. I have some inf information you might find interesting. Like Chinese? <laughs> What's this? You've been left a house. An elderly man by the name of Terry Dallin left it to you. It's up on Old Butte Road. It's pretty nice, but it needs some work here and there. Wait, okay, I'm confused. I don't know any man. I know. We've already checked if you had any relation to him. You're quite lucky. The feds almost took the house when they found out that you weren't blood. But this Dallin character certainly did his homework. Whether it makes sense or not, the house is yours, one way or another. Okay, so what else do you know about him? Not much. He was a bit of a recluse. Nobody in town really knows much about him from what we could tell. Would you like to go take a look? Hey Jim, just wanted to wish you the best on your birthday. Thanks for all the good memories and for all those that are yet to come. Terry, P.S. You haven't happened to find my old chopping axe out in the woods, have you?
Hey, neighbor, I'm Emerson. Hi, I'm Mitch. Um, come on in. I thought I'd just bring you a housewarming gift. Oh, uh, thanks. Let me take that. You make yourself at home. So military, huh? Yeah, you know, they get you after a while, especially when you don't have anything planned after high school. Oh yeah, my dad was in the Marines, so I guess I sort of know what you're going through. Yeah, I noticed this picture earlier. He must be uh, some friend of those Terry guys. Well, yeah, silly, that's Jim. He lives right down the road. Oh, really? Well, I'm pretty sure this is meant for him, because the message on the back is addressed to him. Uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you like to show me where he lives? Yeah, I'd love to. Do you want to go right now? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. After you. Nice to meet you, son. Well, geez, come on in. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. What can I do for you two this evening? Well, sir, I actually found this picture of you inside Terry's house. Uh, it has a message on the back. I'm not sure how long ago your birthday was, but um, I think this is... Yeah. My birthday's today, son. Really, Jim? Old Terry, huh? What are the chances? Well, I got his axe here. I, I found it a few months ago in the woods. Kept forgetting to give it back to him. Seeing as how he's passed, I, I figure it belongs to you. All right. Well, thanks, Jim. I guess this will come in handy sometime. Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate you running the letter down to me. Thanks for doing that, Emerson. I think I'm in a lot for that old coop. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's definitely an acquired taste. Maybe if you're not doing anything, you know, you're just free sometime, you could stop by at my place? I like that. Um, my door's always open, so if you ever want to drop by, you're welcome. Okay. Well, good night. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine, but you know, I'm not trying to get too comfortable because, I don't know, for some reason I feel like there's something weird about this house. Well, Terry Dallin was a strange man. There's bound to be strange things about the house. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not like that. It's like I keep finding things, things that don't make much sense. <laughs> well, have you ever stayed up in the woods by yourself before? All right, enough. I know how it sounds. Well, try not to get too scared. The woods have a strange effect on city slickers like yourself. I'm sure. Meet me in town for coffee, say noon tomorrow? Actually, I have plans tomorrow. Emerson's dropping by. Not getting too comfortable, are we? Call me again tomorrow. We'll meet up sometime later. Sounds good, Lieutenant. This is Monet. Over and out.
play chess with Jim again today. Each of us had, has always had a knack for the game, though never had really anyone to play with. Every year around this time, we have a makeshift competition of sorts with a small pool of money or maybe a load of firewood. This is the eighth year in a row I've lost to him. How does a 19-year-old girl like yourself wind up in a place like this, out in the middle of nowhere? Well, it wasn't always from here. I actually grew up in Lakeview, and being the crazy 17-year-old that I was, I decided not to go to college, and I moved out here with my boyfriend. He always wanted to get away into the countryside, as if Lakeview wasn't enough of an escape already. If I may ask, what happened? He found someone else to occupy his interests. Johnny couldn't really be tied down for too long. I don't know, one day, he was just gone. I was just too stupid to realize it. But what about you, Mr. Military Man? Been hanging out with you all this time and I don't know the first thing about you. Well, honestly, there's not too much to tell. You know, I grew up from orphanage to foster family to different orphanages. My parents died when I was two. And they couldn't find any known relatives after that. When I graduated from high school, I went into the Air Force because that was my only option. I've never really had anything in my life besides that. Well, now you do. I guess in a way, inheriting this house was kind of like starting a new life, you know? At the beginning, I kind of wanted to sell it and move on like I've always done in the past, but I feel like there's a purpose behind it. Something that I need to find. I'm gonna go to Marvin's diner and get a burger and a chocolate shake. When I get back, she better be gone. I gotta go. Well, well, well. Emerson Cooper. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, Alyssa. How are you? Who's the new boyfriend? Oh, <laughs> we're just friends. Yeah, sure. Well, I gotta go. I'm gonna meet some people at Marvin's, but good luck with Johnny, or whatever his name is. Emerson. 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 Emerson, what was that all about? It's nothing important. Let's just go home. Listen, Emerson, I'm really sorry about... Don't worry about it, it's just... <sighs> that was who Johnny left me for, so... It's just kind of weird. <laughs> well, I just want you to know that I'm going to be here for you no matter what.
Jim. Jim. What in tarnation do you think you're doing, son? Jiminy Christmas. Jim. This ain't no Jim. drag race track like those cities you idiots come from. Jim, who was Terry Dallin? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to tell anyone about my friend Terry. He was a very private man. And he told me not to tell anyone anything after he passed. Jim, don't give me any of that. I've read his messages and his diary, and he has a picture of me. Why was I, Mitch Ryder, given this house when we had no connection whatsoever? Son, there's a connection. You just haven't gotten that far. What do you mean there's a connection? I don't know who you are, Jim. I never knew Terry. Keep looking, son. There's a connection. Everything will fall into place when it falls into place. Good day to you. Monet, you meet me at Marvin's? Okay. How's it going, Mitch? Marvin, all right. Have you seen my lawyer? Yeah, she's right there in the corner. All right, thanks, man. What's this? Oh, what a cute little boy. Monet, this was in the old man's diary. What's going on here? Believe me, Lieutenant, if I knew, I would tell you. When I signed on for this, I was hoping to resolve any legal matters involving the house. Not to be a detective and help you find out why the house was given to you. Terry Michael Dallin was a mysterious man. He lost his wife after 50 years of marriage, had no family, grew up in an orphanage, friends scattered all over the place. How did Terry Dallin get the house? Why in the world does it matter? Monet, I need to understand what's going on here. Just tell me. He inherited the house. Drop it, drop it, or I'll kill her. Please, don't hurt her. You figured it all out, didn't you? The house, the house, it's, it's, it's immune to time. Wait, what are you talking about? Don't you understand? You fool, Terry Michael Dallin, it's you. You left the house to yourself. You have been doing so for as long as this house has existed. This house is the fountain of youth men have been searching for for centuries. You've been reliving your life again and again. But now I want to relive my life. And now this house, this house, Take that, you time warp freak. Mitch!
Dear Mitch, some of this may be hard for you to accept at first, but please bear with me. It seems like one always wonders what it would be like to talk with their younger self. For me, I have that opportunity. This house, my young friend, is a gift. I remember when I read this letter myself about 50 some odd years ago, just as you are now. You may wonder, what is the secret? How is this possible? All I know, Mitch, is that whoever dies in this house will return again anew and fulfill the same destiny they have been fulfilling since it was built. I attempted to leave you as many clues as possible to defend you from the one who thought and will continue to seek this house, just as you will do the same when your own time comes. Until now, Mitch, enjoy the house. In my time here, I have known nothing but joy, even to my dying breath. Something about it has brought us happiness in the past, and I can only imagine it will do the same for you. Most sincerely, Terry Michael Dallin.